Skyborne 7 meteorologist Zach Scott is in Geronimo for us and is joining us live by the phone. Zach, I know you have some uh, new information about that guy in the trailer home there. What can you tell us? Yeah, um, just like you said there, uh, Monty, that uh, he appears really just to have uh, bruises and some cuts, which is very lucky because word coming in is that uh, the trailer home was severely damaged, if not uh, completely destroyed. And we're also getting information that there's a gas leak in the area and that they do have crews on the scene trying to work on that. So kind of a dangerous situation uh, uh, there around Missouri Street. Um, uh, also here with the school, the elementary school appears to uh, be heavily damaged as well. The north side, uh, all the windows appear to be busted out along the north side. And we also had, uh, if you remember the storm back in April, that had the 80 to 100 mile per hour winds come through from Frederick over to Geronimo. Uh, that did a little bit of damage to the school, also loosened up some awnings, and we had an entire metal awning uh, blow from the north side of the school across the school, across the property in the street of Iowa Street, and has wrapped itself around a house here at the corner of Broadway and Iowa Street. We've got tons of tree damage, uh, tons of tree debris across the streets here, all across town, um, and uh, even um, some big branches have been uh, just completely snapped. Uh, we do have power lines that are down here on Iowa Street in front of the uh, elementary school. It looks like one pole has completely snapped and laid over, uh, causing a bunch of the, of the lines to actually lay down on the road. So that road is being blocked off right now. Um, again, just lots of debris across the entire town. Looks like there's some minor uh, street and, and yard flooding that I've, I've seen. Uh, anybody that had a metal uh, awning or covering for their carports, uh, I've seen that just completely flipped and tossed around on top of the cars, on top of homes, or tons of metal, sheet metal debris uh, all across the town, just completely littering the town. So it looks like uh, the community of Geronimo, unfortunately, uh, will be doing a lot of cleanup when uh, the sun comes up on Thursday. Elementary school. Let's go back to Skywarn 7 meteorologist Zach Scott, who is in Geronimo checking out some of the damage for us. Zach, what have you learned since we talked at the beginning of the hour? Having a little difficulty hearing you. Can you hear me there, Monty? Yeah, I can hear you, Zach. We were just asking what you've been able to, you gave us that report at the beginning of the hour. We're showing that trailer home now where a man was inside and suffered uh, some minor injuries and also some damage to the schools. What, what can you tell us? Yeah, and, and we're still getting word that, uh, that there's still a gas leak in the area, and I haven't been able to, uh, I did try to talk to a, a part of the fire department here just a little bit ago and, and they still weren't uh, sure if the gas leak had been fixed or not so i uh, still want to avoid that area um right now we're still in the dark here geronimo is completely in the dark uh, there are crews around the town that are uh, working to repair the down poles and the lines uh, again I, I think the residents of geronimo are going to be uh, cleaning up here for thursday if not for the next couple of days um, still, uh, as far as the school goes, I know a lot of folks are wondering how that is. The elementary uh, being told um, that the north side, all the windows, if not the majority of them, are busted out, uh, probably due to the hell and maybe some debris flying around. Again, a metal awning from the elementary school flew across the road and has wrapped itself around this home. We're going to try to get you a shot of that here uh, coming up this morning. Um, the street is completely littered, not just one or two streets, but across the town as we were coming in, uh, sheet metal, tree debris um, of all sizes, uh, completely littering the roads, I mean, all across town. So it's going to be a, a big cleanup uh, for the entire community of Geronimo. Um, and, and get this, too, there's still piles along the roads uh, coming into the community and, and in the community of uh, hell still on the sides of the roads that are still uh, still trying to melt. So it shows you. Uh, I mean, what they really had to go through here uh, just a couple of hours ago. And, and uh, again, so that, that's really all we got right now. Um, and there's there's people out driving around checking out the debris. But again, um, Geronimo is in the dark and uh, just a, a big cleanup on the way uh, for tomorrow, for today when the sun gets up and then uh, for the next couple of days, maybe.